All right, guys, so here we are literally seconds after we just did the install video on the access port. Um, I'm trying to get both of these two videos knocked out pretty quick. Um, and so I wanted to go ahead and give a basic um, overview of the 10.2 inch Android radio here. And just kind of my thoughts, um, some of the good pluses on it, and then a couple things that I noticed that are a little bit annoying. So first thing first is a huge, massive screen. This thing is good. Um but it provides a ton of light. And the only real way to dim it is you have to come down here and you, or, yeah, and you have to basically select the dimming from the bar there. Um, that's not bad because it's not hard to do. But when you're in direct sunlight, that's really hard to see. So my thought was I could probably just get a widget that I can go and just tap and get the brightness 50% or whatever from driving at night. But... The way this is set up with security reasons, whatever it may be, the widgets are actually not working to dim the screen. So, um, I mean, maybe there's one on there. I just haven't found it yet, but um, I'll definitely keep looking. I have the Rockford Fosgate system. Um, all the buttons and keys work to turn the radio up and down. One of the things I did notice, though, is when I first started using this system, I would go in here and play some music, and I would notice... That when I'd come to my equalizer, uh, wherever you're at, the amplifier, and I would go to fade and I'd turn the sound to the rear, I wasn't getting any sound out of the rear speakers. Um, and the reason why is when you set these things up, you have a canvas setting um, and you have to go in there and adjust the canvas because by default, your steering wheel controls are going to work, um, but your rear speakers are not going to work based on how it's set up for the amplifier. Um, so you can... You can go to YouTube and find some videos on exactly how to set up your canvas, how to change it. But you want it to be set to a 57 um, in order for those rear speakers to work. Um, one thing I did notice, though, is once I did set it up for 57, there are times I get in the car. I wait a second and the radio. I, I'm not getting any volume. Um, so what I have to do is I have to come in here, hit the power button. This turns it off. And this is all pretty quick. It shuts down really fast. Push the power button again, it turns it back on, and then I'll get sound. Uh, sometimes if the sound's not there, I can wane a little bit, and they'll finally just pop up. But there are sometimes a sound delay or whatever. But for what you're getting, is not really that big of a deal. And like I said, you could just toggle it on and off, or off and on, and then it's, it's going to end up working. So this is full Android, Android 8.0. Um, this is the latest version, so it's the quicker one. Um, but because it is Android you have access to the Android market, the Play Store. So I can't really do a review on this because there's, I mean, there's millions of apps in here that are going to work. Um, and so I just, what I did was I just kind of went through here and started downloading some stuff. Um, my Dish Anywhere, for instance. And this is just like the Dish Network connection. Um, Hulu and Netflix. Netflix is working on here. For some reason, when I click on a Hulu video, it gives me an error. Um, so I'm going to have to find another way around that. Um, but I can come through here, and I think my wife probably has a ton of stuff recording, so I may not even be able to to really watch anything on here. We'll do Kardashians just because. Click on watch. Watch on device. And you could tether this like to a phone or um, whatever you need to do. You can also Bluetooth tether it, um, and I think you can USB tether it as well. Yeah, see, so there's a couple things recording. So let's let's just join Grey's Anatomy, even though I do not watch this. So don't hate on me for that. Uh, Why well, it's gonna turn it up? Like this Hyundai Santa Fe Sport. So this is a commercial. Nissan Versa SV. Your choice for only eleven nine ninety five. Or check out this. But I do have all of my TV channels on here. Um, the radio looks good because it's such a big screen. You have all these different presets here that you can do. Um. You have navigation. I have Spotify directly on the radio. So I don't have to go Bluetooth because anytime you Bluetooth, you're losing a little bit of quality. Um, wagon wheel for you. Mirror, mirror, mirror on the wall, tip. Let's 
stop that. Um, the phone works great. For the phone, I have a, a little um, microphone here that picks it up. And it actually sounds really good, even with the windows down. So, um, Pandora I put on here. So there's a bunch of other different apps. Um, go to your settings and so on. Videos, if you have personal videos. Bluetooth, like I said, it is Android. So, all these are widgets you can customize. I just haven't really placed them anywhere I want it to yet. Um, the navigation itself, let's go into this map app so you can see what it looks like. It's really good. And there's a lot of different settings. By default, the settings are turned off. Um, but you could do things like turn on traffic and so on with it. And the radio is pretty quick. So um, the, about the slowest thing about this radio is loading the maps. But once it gets loaded up, I mean, it's flawless. So, And you do not need internet access to, uh, to use the map on this system, which is good. Um, but then you do have an option. If you do want to use internet access, you can use your Google Maps as well um, and see all that. So there's an antenna that comes through here and supposed to be come up on the top somewhere um, but I just have it thrown in the glove box and it's working perfectly um, I'm going to end up mounting it soon I want to mount it in a top in the corner um, or one of these two corners but I am in Oklahoma like I said it gets really hot here and I don't want it to melt because these little things are pretty cheap plastic uh, we'll back out of that things like the car launcher so it gives like a nice little display for your stuff and you program what you want on there all your internet browser stuff works. Um, to watch videos as you're driving, you do have to go to your settings to turn them on, and that's for any kind of video app. So if it's like um, Netflix or YouTube or whatever, to come in here to your settings, you go to car, and then you'll go to, I think it's extra settings, no, driving settings. Driving settings, there you go, watch videos. You'll have to make sure that you select that to be on. I'm not encouraging it because it's dangerous. Um, another thing in here, elements. So let's say you do like a custom light kit. The default light kit for this is about an orange color, which I have here. You can see that it's lit up here. But you can also go in here and change all of these to whatever colors that you want. Um, so that's pretty good. You can view all your pictures that you have on here. Um, like I said, all your Google search, Gmail, and so on. One thing I will suggest is if you start adding things like Gmail and Facebook, just turn off your notifications. Because as soon as you get in your car, like I keep it tethered, you're going to start getting notifications all the time. And it's just kind of annoying seeing them pop up. Um, there's my Google Maps. YouTube works great. Um, so let's see here. Just click on a video here real quick. We think car insurance needs a revolution. Root is a new type of car insurance that looks deeper than other insurers, but... We all like advertisements. Hey, YouTube, what's up, everybody? Yeah, YouTube works great. Because it's Android, you also get the... When you close it out, you can move the little window over if you want. Exactly. Um, or you can just close that out. Uh, the Torque app is good because this is where you can get all your different gauges. If you have an access port, you probably don't need it, but it looks really nice on this big screen here. Um, so it needs real-time information, and you can, of course, sort and add and move these gauges however you want them to be. Um, these things are really accurate um, when it comes to reading things like acceleration, boost, and so on. If you try to measure like horsepower, none of that's going to be accurate. So don't even try it. But fault codes... You can see whatever the fault code is, so you check engine lights that come up. Um, but then you can also view it directly on the internet, on the device, without having to go out and look for it or whatever. Okay, I'll close that. Um, file manager, I installed this on here um, because there is a micro SD card slot. And that's where your GPS is located. So what I did was I just basically went through and said, I'm going to replace it, put 128 gig on there. And then I started downloading some movies and put those on here. Um, so now I go to, I believe, right here, SD card. I have uh, different TV shows. So like all of Seinfeld. Seinfeld is probably the best show ever made. Um, movies. Movies. Um, New Spider-Man, a huge Superman fan, so I gotta have that. 
Marvel Universe, all the Marvels, Toy Story, Lion King. And of course, you got to have all the Fast and the Furious here. And like I said, all of this works while you're driving. You can put any movie that you want. It's an Android player. It's going to play any format. There we go. The sub's too close. We're making it to the gate in time. We're just going to let you get away. Not if I know Dom. So I went to a car meet the other day and was blasting the Fast and the Furious. I had people just standing around the car watching it. It's kind of cool. Uh, YouTube for kids. So I have um, three kids. The kids go... They sit in the back and they basically fight over the middle seat. So I'm probably going to have to do like some headrest seat or um, some headrest monitors because they will plug directly into this with um, audio video out. This will actually produce the signal out. <sighs> Pokemon Go is on here um, because I, I don't know, I play it, whatever. I don't even care. But it, for some reason it's not working in the car. There's always been like an issue with Pokemon Go working on tablets. I just don't care enough to really research why, because I don't really care to drive and play Pokemon Go the entire time I'm driving. So um, we'll just move out of that. Yeah, I mean, outside of that, I mean, this thing is th this thing is really good. You can install pretty much any application that you want on there. You can run it. You can sit there and watch YouTube videos about things that you're doing to your car. So if you need advice, what are the whole internet's on there? GPS works flawlessly. Um, Bluetooth. Um, when you're tethering it to get the internet, all that stuff works. This is an excellent investment. Um, and I think this one was about like $450 on eBay. But you can always find deals as well to make it a little bit cheaper. Um, you just want to make sure that you get the correct one for your car. This one being the 2014 and 15 with Rockford Fosgate. And I think there's a 2008 to 13 with Rockford Fosgate. Everything is direct, plug and play. This entire piece all pops in at one time. Um, I mean, it's super user friendly. The only thing I wish is that maybe it had like a manual controller where it's not just touch buttons here. Um, and then I wish that the volume and the or the volume up and down were switched because my thought is the left side should be volume down, the right side should be volume up. It's just not the way it is on here. Um, and then also Android, usually there's a task manager where it pops up the different things that you have open. I'm not seeing that on here. You just have your home and back button and then that other button's replaced by power button. Um, and I have the little plastic piece here because I can't seem to find a screen protector that'll cover the dimension I need. Um, but this radio has not ever slowed down on me. So I don't think I really need a task manager yet. Um, but we'll see what happens and how future-proofed it is and so on. But would I recommend this? Most definitely. Um, I will also say that when you go in here to adjust your time, so this is the correct time, 7.49 p.m. right now. Um, do not set your time to adjust based on GPS location because it's always going to be off. My time was always off and I realized that that was um, the problem, so I turned that off. And any time the time change, I'm just going to go in there and, and do it again. And actually, this looks like a multi-app button. So right where I said they didn't have it, there we go. Um, I should close them all at the same time, but I guess you don't really need it anyway. Yeah, so um, if you guys have any questions or anything like that about the system, um, put it down in the comments. I'll see if I can run through a scenario and test it. A couple things I want to do to this, like I said, I want to put some headrest monitors in the back because it's basically you buy the whole headrest together, you do the audio video out, and they'll give them power, and the kids don't have to fight over the middle seat. There's also a local TV tuner, so I'm watching internet or I'm watching TV now based on uh, tethering my phone to it, I'm doing things like YouTube and Dish Anywhere or, or Netflix or whatever the case may be, or some of those TV apps you can do. But there is a TV tuner where you can get all the digital. Um, channels and that's I think like 70 bucks I'm going to do that um, got to get a screen protector and I think uh, yeah backup camera so there's a backup camera plug in for this I just have to I have one but I just don't have it mounted up but it's basically just going to plug right in and then I want to get a forward facing camera because I did lower the car I have a lip on the car and the last thing I want to do is destroy the lip while trying to pull forward so this will allow me to go to the video setting here. So when I click it, 
Oh, that's the wrong one. There's a there's a video setting in here somewhere, but basically it allows you to um to see whatever's connected to that particular uh video output. So that you know if you're pulling up to a curb, you're not exactly sure how close you are. You have a camera on the front of your car hidden underneath the grill, you can actually see how close you are and not tear up your lip. So forward facing camera, rear facing camera. I've got a screen protector, and then of course the uh, the headrest monitor. So outside of that, this thing is perfect, and it's probably the best modification I've done in this car. So especially the most entertaining in an interior that's aged like this. So um, that's all I got. Like I said, questions, comments, leave them in the comments. Like the video, subscribe to the videos. Um, we'll definitely be making more. So appreciate everyone watching. Thank you.